When Toya dies, he receives an unexpected apology from God after being unintentionally struck by lightning and killed. Thod offers Toya a chance to be resurrected in a new world, to which Toya agrees on the condition that he can bring a smartphone that can connect to Earth's internet and be recharged using magic. Additionally, God enhances Toya's physical abilities, reflexes, and memory skills. In the new world, Toya rescues twin sisters Els and leans from a group of assailants, whom he easily overpowers. The trio decides to form a party and accepts paid quests while the sisters teach Toya how to read the local language and use magic. Unlike most magic users who can only use one or two types of magic, Toya becomes skilled in every form of magic, rendering him exceptionally powerful. Later on, Toya visits a cafe where he assists the owner in discovering a recipe to make a scrumptious ice cream. Toya, Els, and Leans encounter a samurai named Yae who is under attack by a group of thugs. The trio joins forces with Yae to defeat the assailants, and invites her to join their party. Meanwhile, Toya strives to learn as many spells as possible, including no magic, which proves to be highly versatile. During a journey to deliver a letter to the royal capital, the group is ambushed by lizards summoned by a dark mage who seeks to attack a royal carriage. The sisters and Yae fight off the lizards and defeat the mage while Toya rushes to the carriage and uses a null healing spell to save the life of a butler named Lime. Lady Sushi Ernia Ortland, a passenger in the carriage, expresses her gratitude to Toya for saving Lime's life. The group travels to the royal capital where Sue introduces Toya to her father, Duke Alfred Ortland, who thanks Toya for protecting his daughter. However, he reveals that his wife, Duchess Ellen Ortland, is blind and asks Toya to cast a powerful healing spell to restore her sight. Toya agrees and uses no magic to cure the Duchess's blindness, earning 40 platinum coins and 4 royal medals as a token of gratitude from the Duke. After delivering the letter, Yae decides to join the party, which now has the Duke's protection. After arriving at the royal capital, Toya encounters a diverse range of demi-human races, including elves and beast men. While exploring the city, he encounters a fox girl named Arma who has lost her older sister, Alga. Toya and his companions pledge to aid her in her search. During a shopping excursion, Toya acquires a sorcerer's cloak that safeguards the wearer against magic they possess, but leaves them open to other forms of magic. Later, he utilizes a no crafting spell to transform a tree trunk into a shogi board in response to a request from a lumberjack. Toya educates the duke and shogi using the board. The squad undertakes a task to defeat a Dullahan in the vicinity of the ruins of the old capital. Following their triumph over the Dullahan, Toya casts a null locating spell to locate a valuable magical item stashed in a secret dungeon. The artifact is revealed to be the energy source for an artificial glass beast that has the ability to repair any damage inflicted upon it. After Toya extracts the energy source, the group defeats the beast. They report their findings to the duke, who suspects that the glass beast may have been the cause of the old capital's abandonment. The duke enlists Toya's help in investigating the matter the next day. Later, Toya receives a communication from the duke indicating that the king of the royal capital has been poisoned. As the duke and Toya make their way to the royal capital, the duke expresses his apprehension about the fate of the king's throne if he dies, with the possibility of his eldest daughter, Princess Yumina Ernia Belfast, taking over. Upon their arrival, Toya uses his mastery of null healing magic to cure the king's poison, winning the admiration of Princess Yumina in the process. The capital's count, Balsa, claims that the poisoner is the ambassador, who is revealed to be none other than Olga, the lost sister of the fox girl Arma. However, Toya, with his unmatched surge magic, detects no poison in the wine, leading him to reenact the banquet in order to determine the true culprit. By asking Balsa to drink from the king's glass, he exposes the real poisoner who is Balsa. After the truth is revealed and Balsa is arrested, the king allows Yumina to engage with Toya for a two-year period, in hopes that they will grow to love each other. As Yumina joins the party, she teaches Toya the art of summoning magic, leading to the formation of a powerful bond between him and the majestic tiger spirit Kohaku, formerly known as the White Monarch. Toya sets out on a daunting quest to investigate the research of a magician who had delved into the nature of slime beasts in an abandoned castle. However, his companions, who feared the potential harm to their clothing, were hesitant to aid him. Nevertheless, they reach the castle where they encounter numerous slimes and, to their shock, a slime capable of transforming into beautiful girls. As Toya rescues his companions from the slimes, they ultimately decide to put an end to the magician's twisted research by burning down the castle. In a different adventure, Toya helps Yae reunite a lost girl with her mother by activating a null search spell on his phone. Delighted by Toya's help, Yae then asks him to locate her older brother, who is safe at a dojo. Meanwhile, Toya also helps Leans develop a new water bomb spell, and indulges in shopping with Els, even buying her a dress she admires. Seeing Els' happiness, the other girls request Toya to do the same for them. Just as the group is settling into their routine, Yumina receives a letter from the royal capital offering Toya knighthood, as a reward for his role in solving the case of the king's poisoning. Excited by this new development, the companions eagerly await Toya's next adventure as a newly minted knight. 
After Toya rejects the offer of knighthood, the king instead gifts Toya and Yumino with a grand estate. To the surprise of Els, Lins, and Yae, Toya invites them to live with him and Yumina, explaining that he considers them to be like family. However, Toya's poor choice of words inadvertently causes the girls to believe that he wishes to marry them as well. Yumina manages to smooth things over and the girls accept the offer. Later, the Duke and Sushi arrive at the estate and request that Toya accompany them on a journey to the Kingdom of Mismeed as part of their alliance. Toya notices Sir Leon, a knight, harboring feelings for Olga, and assists him in selecting a gift that she will appreciate with the help of Arma. That night, a nearby town is attacked by a fearsome black dragon, which Toya and the girls defeat. A red dragon then appears and apologizes for not arriving sooner to stop the black dragon. Fuhaku advises the dragon to encourage the Azure Monarch, presumably the Dragon King, to better control the dragons. The following day, Toya falls asleep and awakens to find himself resting in Yumina's lap. Yumina challenges the girls to a game of rock-paper-scissors to decide who gets to keep Toya, as a pillow, and she emerges victorious. Upon arriving at the capital of Miss Mead, Toya and his party are summoned to an audience with the king. During the meeting, the king challenges Toya to a duel, revealing his no magic excel, which grants him superhuman speed. However, Toya manages to overcome the king's agility by mastering the excel spell himself, combining it with his own boost spell to emerge victorious. Later that night, Toya has a chance encounter with Lean, a fairy who has lived for over 600 years. She teaches him the powerful program spell, which imbues objects with specific magical properties. After impressing Lean with his own skill in using the spell, she offers to teach him more magic, but Toya declines. The following day, Toya, accompanied by Lean's and Yumina, buys materials to create a unique pistol sword infused with program magic. The sword features automatic reloading and blade extending capabilities, which impresses both girls, who ask Toya to create firearms for them as well. During their return journey, Toya senses that they are being followed and decides to confront their stalkers. He discovers that they are spies sent by the king to watch over and protect Yumina. Toya promises to keep their presence a secret from the others. Later that night, Toya opens a portal to Belfast, allowing the two kings to meet with each other. Meanwhile, Lean remains determined to teach Toya more magic, setting the stage for their future encounters. Upon his return, Toya sets to work creating a bicycle using his magical powers. However, his creation catches the attention of the Duke and the girls, all of whom express interest in riding it. Toya obliges and creates enough bicycles for everyone to use. Later on, while out in the city to buy supplies, Toya comes across a young girl being physically abused by several people for stealing. Quick to intervene, Toya drives off the attackers and invites the girl to work as a maid in his mansion. She agrees and promises never to steal again. As if this was not enough, Toya is visited by Lean who pleads with him to open a gate to Yae's homeland, Ishin, for her to travel there. Unfortunately, Toya has not been to Ishin before, and thus cannot open a gate there. However, Lin teaches him a new null spell that allows him to tap into Yae's memories of Ishin, enabling him to open a gate to the distant land. The group sets off on their journey, with Yae overjoyed to be returning to her homeland after such a long time. Using his powers of recall and gate, Toya and his companions arrive in Yae's homeland of Ishin. They head to her house where they learn that her father and brother are engaged in a war. Toya uses his extraordinary abilities to quickly locate both of them, and defeats the undead Oni masked soldiers that they were fighting against. Tokugawa thanks Toya for his assistance, and Tsubaki emerges from the shadows, requesting Toya's help in saving the Takeda family. Kansuke had betrayed Shinjin, and Toya agrees to help, accompanied by Lin. Upon arrival, they free three other generals and rescue Shinjin from the influence of Kansuke's eye, which was stolen and broken using teleport, leading to Kansuke's death. After helping the Takeda family, they use Recall and Gate to transport to an island near the ancient ruins that Lin had been searching for. Upon arriving at the island near the ancient ruins using Gate, Toya suggests that they spend a day swimming at the beach. While enjoying themselves, Toya becomes intrigued by the nearby ancient ruins and decides to go diving towards them. However, he soon realizes that it's too far for him to swim without the risk of drowning. Thankfully, Kohaku comes to his aid and helps him summon a mystical creature known as Black Emperor, which consists of a snake and a turtle. Toya bonds with the creature and names them Sango and Kokayu, respectively. With their help, Toya manages to reach the ancient ruins where they are greeted by a maid in the Garden of Babylon. Following Toya's encounter with Francesca, the artificial maid in the Garden of Babylon, he is declared the new master of the garden. Using a gate, he brings his companions to the garden, where the girls become jealous and suspicious of Toya after seeing Francesca. Yumina then takes the girls for a walk to discuss their feelings towards Toya and to express their desire to become his brides, a topic they had previously discussed when they moved into Toya's mansion. 
The girls agree nervously. Francesca, however, shocks everyone when she kisses Toya, although it was just to sample his DNA through his saliva. Leans, who is deeply in love with Toya, musters the courage to confess her true feelings for him and also kisses him in front of everyone, further shocking the girls. Toya and his entourage return to the mansion with Francesca in tow. Yamina aids Leans in joining the ranks of Toya's brides, followed by Yae and Els the next day. Toya then visits the garden and converses with Regina Babylon, the professor responsible for creating Babylon. Seeking counsel on his romantic conundrum, Toya consults with God and the goddess of love. Returning to the mansion, Toya explains to his brides that he is not yet prepared to marry them all, fearing he may not be able to satisfy each of their needs. The girls come to accept his decision. Lean later converses with Francesca, who discloses that Dr. Babylon had predicted that Toya would wed nine wives. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.